Hey everybody, Rob here. It's time for a brand new malicious compliance story. Homeowners Association doesn't care about my health, but how dare my flat look non-conformist? Let's jump right in. Would you look at that? Sleepy Smiley Kitty found a friend who actually hit the subscribe button. You should do the same, and then you can cuddle up with Sleepy Smiley Kitty as well. This happened five years ago. It's a long one, but worth the read, or at least I think so. First, a bit about me. For the story's sake, you can call me Alex. I was a 29-year-old male at the time. I'm generally very friendly and accommodating, and try to avoid confrontation where possible, and always try to do things in a peaceful and patient manner. Now, on to the backstory. I lived in a gated community comprised entirely of multiple blocks of small apartments. Every block of apartments looked exactly the same as the other blocks of apartments around it. They were a few floors high and I lived on the first floor. Clarification, I believe in America the first floor is the ground floor. Where I live the ground floor is the ground floor and the first floor is the one above the ground floor. Or as Americans would call it, the second floor. So I lived one floor above the ground floor. The homeowners association and estate management were extremely strict about any infringements regarding things we weren't allowed to do and would issue fines very quickly if you were in breach of the rules and didn't rectify it. For example, you were allowed to have furniture on your patio, but you weren't allowed to have any decor on your patio. I imagine it was because they wanted uniformity in the appearance of the blocks of flats also, no loud noise or music was allowed after 10 p.m. I personally agreed with the no loud noise thing. It was quite a peaceful community that frankly was very well managed, which is something I enjoyed about it. I didn't agree so much with the no decor thing. As a photographer and artist, personal expression is important to me, but I figured as long as I kept it tasteful and stylish and mostly out of visible sight, they hopefully wouldn't have an issue with it. I'm a big fan of vintage motorbikes and had a few tasteful, or at least I thought they were tasteful, metal posters with classic bikes like Triumph, Bonnevilles, Indian Scouts, BSAs, Nortons, Ducatis, etc. up on one of the walls of my patio. They were at such an angle that meant they weren't easily visible from the rest of the complex, so didn't think it would be an issue. Somehow it was still spotted by the estate manager, but more on this later. I also had a few pot plants on the ledge of my balcony. Uh, clarification, plants in pots, not marijuana. Again, we'll get back to that later. You need to know about it for the rest of the story. My downstairs neighbor also used to smoke in her back garden. The ground floors had small gardens and my balcony was directly above her garden. Her smoke would rise up and go through my open bedroom window or the large sliding door on my patio which was usually open in summer and enter my flat. Since I don't smoke, this bothered me. The smell seeped into my furniture and bedding. Even my sleeping pillow smelled of smoke. I politely spoke to her in person about it, and she apologized for the inconvenience, but never stopped doing it. She was actually a very friendly lady. She was never horrible. I suppose she was nice enough to be friendly, but not nice enough to stop doing it. So I decided to take it a step further and I emailed the manager of the gated community to ask if there was something that could be done. The following is the email transaction between myself and the manager who I'll call Nicole. Good day, I stay in unit 117 on the first floor and my downstairs neighbor who lives on the ground floor although being a very friendly old lady has a nasty habit of smoking in her patio. My issue is that in summer with the heat I leave my bedroom window and sliding door open to keep my flat cool and the fumes from her cigarettes are constantly rising up and entering my apartment. I'm not a smoker so this bothers me. My flat smells as if a smoker lives there. Now my question is, is there any rule or law that says she can't smoke in her patio due to her smoke entering my flat? She knows her smoke bothers me and has apologized to me for it but hasn't done anything about it. If she were to only smoke inside her flat or outside her front door, I'm sure the smoke wouldn't come into my flat nearly as much, since I never have my front door open. Thanks in advance. Regards, Alex. She responded with, 
Good morning, Alex. This is a very contentious issue, as this is her home, and there is no law at the moment stating you cannot smoke in your home. Regards, Nicole. I wasn't happy with that response, but I figured there was nothing more I could do about it and didn't want to bother making a bigger issue of it. So I just forgot about it and moved on until about a year later when estate management picked up on two infringements by me. At this point, Nicole had resigned and Stuart had replaced her. This is the email I got from Stuart. Good day. I trust that you are well. Please could you remove the pots from the wall as per the attached photo as this is dangerous should they be knocked off and fall onto someone downstairs and in breach of the conduct rules. Furthermore, no items can be attached to the walls in the patio and you are requested to move the pictures as per the photo as this is aesthetically displeasing. Your assistance is appreciated. Kind regards, Stuart, estate manager. After that email, I was now a bit upset and determined to get my way in terms of my smoking downstairs neighbor. Cue my malicious compliance. Good day, Stuart. I'm very well. Thanks for asking. Absolutely, I will take the pictures down. Not a problem. We wouldn't want someone's vision to be irreparably damaged from the unsightly trauma that is my vintage bike picture collection. Though I must comment that I appreciate the very polite way my decor is described as aesthetically displeasing, as opposed to what that actually means, damn that's ugly is probably a more colloquial translation. My feelings might have been hurt otherwise, I'm very relieved I didn't go into the profession of interior decorating, which a few people I know have said I should have done, since the sudden realization that my taste in style isn't what I once thought it was. I could have been a disaster career-wise. Alternatively, what if I were to replace the photos of the bikes with a nice family portrait of my parents? Granted, they aren't supermodels, but they're attractive to me, though I may be biased in that opinion since I care for them, so I'm hoping they're not too ugly. Oops, I mean aesthetically displeasing. If that fails, maybe a reproduction of the Mona Lisa would be sufficient to meet your high standards. Tourists travel across the globe and wait in line for hours just to see it for a few minutes. Would that be allowed? I won't even charge fellow tenants for looking at it when they're walking past my balcony. Obviously, I'm being a little ridiculous, and I don't mean to give you a hard time. You're just doing your job and enforcing some of the ridiculous rules that management came up with, like the communist-level restriction on personal expression and the freedom of choice to decorate and style our own property in a manner that we like. God forbid we show some individuality. Now that I think about it, the endless rows of identical-looking Soviet-era housing structures do have a nice seizure-inducing repetitive nature about them. While we're on the subject of decor, how is it that plastic patio furniture is still allowed? Yes, it is patio furniture, which complex rules say are allowed on patios, but damn, that is painful to look at. You know what I mean, right? That cheap white plastic stuff one buys at the furniture section of those large bulk buying stores? I find it very aesthetically displeased. Oh, screw it. It's ugly. I don't like looking at it. It comes across as tacky. Can't they be scrapped as well? I'm going off topic again. The whole point of me bringing all of this up is that a few months ago, I emailed asking about a complaint I had. The complaint was that the lady who lives directly downstairs from me regularly smokes in her garden, and me, being the lover of oxygen that I am, keep my windows and patio door open for fresh air, and her smoke is constantly wafting into my apartment. Me, being a non-smoker, I get quite annoyed. I ask if anything could be done about this. I was told it's her property and her patio. She can smoke on it if she wants to. I know that health legislation stipulates that smoking within a certain distance from a designated non-smoking area is illegal. If it's good enough for public spaces, shouldn't I have that same right in my own house? Granted, I don't have designated non-smoking area signs in my flat, but I'm the only one who lives there, so I already know there's no smoking allowed. I made the rule. It would be silly to put them up inside. Should I put them up outside on my patio instead so others can see? Maybe they don't know I don't like cigarette smoke. Actually, wait, I already know the answer to that. They're aesthetically displeasing. Forget I mentioned it. So to recap, 
what really gripes me is that when my neighbor smokes so close to my flat that I can practically smell what brand of cigarettes she smokes, I'm told I can't do anything about it, even though it might affect my health because it's her property and she can do what she likes on it. By that logic, she could host orgies on her lawn and I couldn't do anything about so long as she kept the volume down after 10 p.m. But I can't put up pictures on my patio because some people might not like the way they look, even though it is also my property and it would be nice if I could do with it as I wanted provided it wasn't an eyesore. Since I take a lot of pride in my flat, I wouldn't call it an eyesore as I maintain it quite well, or at least I think so. If only a person's lungs and health were as important as other people's inability to mind their own business. So what I really want to know is, is there any way that my neighbor could possibly just smoke inside her flat, or at least outside the front of her flat, if she insists on smoking outside, where the smoke won't come into my place as easily, I would accept that too. I'm not a completely unreasonable guy. I find her smoke nasally displeasing. I normally wouldn't make such a big deal about it, but I'm starting to feel that what I'm subjected to versus what others have to be subjected to is a bit unfair. Sorry to put all this on you, Stuart. I understand it's totally not your fault. I'll still take the pictures and the pot plants down immediately. Your assistance is appreciated. Kind regards. Alex, Unit 117. I sent that reply after 6 p.m., and I did not expect him to respond until the next morning, but half an hour later, I got a reply. My email must have made an impact. Hi, Alex. Thank you for your email. I thoroughly enjoyed reading it. I do understand your frustration, and unfortunately, this is the reality of staying in such a built-up complexes. I will address the issue of the smoking with your neighbor and will revert to you. Thanks for your assistance and understanding. Kind regards, Stuart. To me, that sounded positive. So Stuart deserved a pat on the back. I sent a short reply. Thanks, Stuart. Much appreciated. You're a top-notch guy. By now, it was after 8 p.m., and I'm sure someone with a 9-to-5 desk job like Stuart should have been at home and clocked out, but he was still replying to me. Hi, Alex. I have confirmed that smoking is only allowed inside the unit or at least 5 meters from a public place, such as your balcony. I will confirm the neighbor's unit number in the morning, unless you can advise offhand, and will address her on the smoking issue. Kind regards, Stuart. I was over the moon. I ran downstairs to see what her unit number was and ran back upstairs to reply. Stuart, you've gone from being a top-notch guy to being a legend. Thanks so much. Her unit is 107. I was worried the outcome wouldn't be great and would have to accidentally bump into my pots while taking my pictures down while she was conveniently smoking in just the right position. It would be a tragic accident, of course. Cough, cough. Sorry, some smoke got into my lungs. Though that would be a lot of effort since I've already taken the plants and pictures down and I would have to put them all up again to make the story sound believable to the police because they would no doubt interrogate me on suspected murder with a pot plant. And that's frankly too much effort. Luckily, I don't have to resort to that. Thanks again, Stuart. Your hard work has kept me out of prison. It's late. You can email her in the morning. Go home and have a beer. You've earned it. P.S. In all seriousness, though, I'm totally kidding about the pot plant thing. And if the lady downstairs were to peg it in the near future, it would be completely coincidental and nothing to do with me. And I'd appreciate it if you forgot you ever spoke to me. This would be terrible evidence against me in court. I mean, I dislike smokers, but I wouldn't kill them. I'm not crazy. Regards, Alex. Sadly, that was the last I would hear from Stuart. Our correspondence stopped after that. I felt we had developed a bond and it ended as quickly as it had begun. I only lived in that estate for another two years and had no more issues with the downstairs neighbor or her cigarette smoke. I now live in the suburbs in a lovely house with my wife and have no downstairs neighbors to complain about, and no stewards to tell me what I can and can't do. I will treasure our time together. I hope wherever he is, he has our email thread printed out and pinned on his office board above his desk and thinks of me fondly whenever he looks at it. OP responded to one of the comments below the story, and it was so good I just had to read it out here. The comment said, 
If I were your downstairs neighbor, I'd simply start smoking out of one of my own open windows. OP replied with, You underestimate my maliciousness. I could, for example, urinate out my bedroom window into your garden. If I'm urinating from inside my flat, what could be done to stop me from doing my own personal business inside my flat? Technically, I wouldn't be doing anything illegal outside in public in the same way you wouldn't be outside doing anything illegal by smoking inside by your open window. Your reaction could go both ways, a mutual understanding and respect of each other by you not smoking out your open window, and me not peeing out my open window, would likely make for a much more pleasant living experience. If it escalated beyond that, I could always take a massive steaming shit out my window the day after eating a lot of Indian food. I wouldn't want to be the person cleaning that up. Thankfully, this is all theoretical. Holy crap, OP. I mean, literally. Okay, does anybody else think that it was the smoking neighbor downstairs who actually put in the complaint in the first place about the displeasing looking things on OP's balcony? I know we don't hear anything about that, but that's kind of where my mind went. It would add a little bit of a twist to the story. What do you guys think? As always, I'd love to see your comments down below. I'd like to thank OP for posting their story to the Malicious Compliance subreddit. You can visit them at the links in the description below. Please go there and give them an upvote. Once again, this is Rob from Karma Comment Chameleon saying thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one.